get up early morning I'm going out in the rain I buy a record's gonna do it again Lord, I, 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 I've got to finish that song someday. Hi, I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. It's just me today, Jesse Lee. He's going to sleep in and take it easy. Uh-huh. So I'm out in the middle of uh, East Texas, heading out to an undisclosed location. Probably figure out about anywhere I go anyway. But anyway, I like to keep that aura of mystery about it. I'm going out and uh, going to go through... Uh, a room full of records. Oh yeah, gonna be a lot of 78s, hopefully some more 45s, and uh, I don't know if I have time, I'll even look at some of the damn albums. So, go with me, we're just gonna enjoy today. I've got a one lead today and one place to go. Probably I'm gonna hit it, hopefully be there six or eight hours, and then come home. Well, all right, I'm, oh, I'm an hour maybe away. I might have to make a pit stop before I get there. But I'll have about six or eight good hours to to look and look and look and hopefully stack up a whole bunch of good records. The rain just continues and that's all right. I've arrived in Tiny Town and uh, ooh, I gotta go by that place sometime if it's ever open. They've got everything here. They've got churches. They've got houses. They've got records. So, oh yeah, I'm sporting the latest in headwear here. This is, uh, my brother-in-law gave me this tactical, uh, very, very comfortable fitting flashlight. My eyes are kind of going dim on me. I've got brand new glasses too. Oh, I'm every day and every way, I'm getting more ordinary. All right. Record hunting frenzy. There's another version of It's Only Make Believe. Nobody should have done that song except Conway. Mm -hmm. did. Just, uh, oh, Roddy McDowell, who, oh, yeah, that, that he, 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 he could do Elvis stuff real well and all. He, he charity Conway. He's the buddy oh, were they? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. He said Conway before, but he had so much faith in him. Harry Schultz. Oh, which one? Yeah, the, uh, yeah it's the worth it. The, yeah. the one with the stuff taped on the label? Yeah. 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 I've seen more than one uh, DJ copy of that where they corrected it. Yeah. I, I don't know if I've got any gold star stuff of his. If I do, I may have one or two I love his stuff. I've I found one recently on the Cajun label. It was a real early issue by him. It's the only one of that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. We would like to find a box full. Hey, cat, how you doing? There's a cat. Don't kill me, cat. I'm, I'm a good guy. Huh. Okay, more 45s. Okay, let's see. What have we got? Now I know today I'm not gonna miss any Northern Soul records. I've missed a couple good ones recently, but I'm on the trail of the last one that I missed, I think I can recover that one from my buddy Dave. If anybody tells you they're an expert and they know everything, they're lying. I'm learning every day. Sometimes I learn the hard way. What is that? No. I don't like that, Patsy Klein. Billy Gray, he was a hillbilly singer, an Oki, I do believe. I know a guy who did that 23 and Me because he never knew his dad. Turns out it was Billy Gray. So he's probably in his 50s, late 40s or so. He got in contact and they said, are you kidding? He goes, nope. They said, well, you've got your family now. So that turned out really good for everybody. Well, all right, I'm just rolling on down. Here's a box full of hit records, but maybe there's one miss in there. 
And I know he's got me an Elvis Sun 45 of Mystery Train and uh, Sun 78 of That's All Right. So I'm very interested in those. So it's going to be a fun, good day. And I'm going to spend it all inside without a whole lot of driving around from small town to small town. You know, one-stop shopping is always usually the best. There's old Buddy Holly. Margie Rainwater. Well, I say old Buddy Holly. He never got old, did he? Let's see. That's, oh, my special angel. Always looking for the Tennessee Rock and Roll by him. Bobby Helms. Now that's all. Finally, I found my copy of Raunchy. I find that everywhere I go. And now I've gotten it out, out of the way. I don't have to look for it anymore. It always pops up. Well, I'm going to get stuck into these 78s. I've got an extra battery. I'm hoping my uh, battery in my flashlight holds on for a long time because it's really helping. My old Red Taylor, he's a great country singer and fiddle player. I think he hit little Jimmy Dickens in the mouth one day. And uh, he was also Mason Dixon on Meteor Records with that immortal record, Don't Worry Yourself About Nothing. Williams, all right, I hit the paint section. I'm a long dong daddy. I guess how he's saying it. Okay, I'm doing some looking here. I found a couple of rockers. It's common, but it's very clean. Lee suede cheese and honey, don't the Perkins. I'll have to make sure no granddaddy's rocking on Matt Kurtz. I love those. Got to meet both of those fine people. Oh, there's that butcher knife he was telling me about. He said there were some chest 78s hiding here somewhere. So, let's check it out. Now, who is Chubby Parker? Fairly clean. Give it a spin. I've got a stack of 78s going, finding some hillbillies. Hopefully some, oh, there's Bud Deckelman. He did one on Meteor, that was a local Memphis hit. He pitched it to Sam Phillips, Phillips turned him down. Then uh, had a hit on Meteor with the same song. Much to Phillips' chagrin. Well, there's a dandy uh, Brunswick Lightning. Not in bad shape, I'll see you. That's something I want. Uh, I don't know I'm on the range. Keen, that's cowboy stuff. I, I don't know. That's just not for me. Little David Wheaton, Americana. I'm, I'll see what kind of bluesy that is. It says it's blues. I'm skeptical, but you know. Such is life of a skeptic. A lot of Fats Waller. Washboard Wonders. I'll play it and see. It ain't no kind of charge for playing. You know, you go some places. Oh, no, you can't play the records. Well, how do I know if I'm going to like them or if it plays good? Well, there was one uh, antique mall that did that in earnest. Well, it wasn't in earnest. It was in Greenville. And, uh, my goodness, they went out of business. They had 25, 35,000 45s, but you couldn't play them. A lot of small label stuff. So I thought I'd gone through it and picked all the gems out. Then there was a lot of things that weren't obvious or I didn't know. And, um, so I started writing them down. Because this is in the pre-internet days. I would go and write them down, then, uh, 
ask around, check around. Then when the internet came, I not long after that, I started looking up on YouTube. Well, anyway, it's just a big old twisted story. I probably got some of it wrong. Huh. It's Port Arthur. Jubilees. It's gotta be Port Arthur, Texas. Anyway, it's not the accuracy of the story. It's how I remember it. And that's the main thing. Casa Loma. No. Oop. Okay. I like that. Good looking vocalion. Really clean, I think. We'll see if it's good. I think some of their stuff might have even had some slide guitar sometimes. Sometimes, Lord, you gotta have a slide guitar. Sometimes he don't show up. So you make do with what you can. Hmm. Ah. Uh, another one of them damn Curtis Curve records on the habit. That's a good one, though. I like that one. Maybe I'll get it. I know the last time I was here, I found a red wax one. I don't think Alexander claimed it yet. He did get a 45, though, with that, too. That was red wax. But the red wax 78 is a bit harder. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> okay, enough pure out crap. Ah. There, Mill Street, one of those uh, uh, Armed Forces records that they'd put out. Play for the troops, all the ships that see it, etc., etc. Mill Street, he came to a bad end. He had wonderful country hits. I just loved his style. Arthur crewed up. A bit rough, though. So when he was having some troubles in his life, he... Excused himself from the breakfast table, went upstairs, and the shot rang out. And uh, that was it for that was it for Mel. I hate that old Ray Smith at Sun Records. He did the same thing. He was having troubles in the late seventies, sitting there at the table with his kid. I think he was a teenager. I'm not for sure. He pulled out a gun. And uh, right there in front of his wife and kid just ended his own self. Hell of a thing to do. Well, enough about that. that, that. Let's, let's don't get morbid. This is that dog howling. My dog is howling at the storm. He says, he says he does that a lot, though. He's just a weird dog. Back to the 45s. Got to cleanse the palate. Dog's still howling. I'm going to play that. That looks good. Word of advice, if it's a small label and you don't know it, play it. Even if it says orchestra. Because, well, I've got a million copies of, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll get another million and one. Might say orchestra, but then again, it might be rockabilly it's been known to happen sleeves i do like to put good sleeves dream on dream on teenage queen she ain't sharing sharing okay small label oklahoma Ooh, cool they're fairly common but i think one's a rocker one's a uh, teener and a bit of a wiener. Live crow recording. Oh, that'll wake up your family during the night. But get the squealing rabbit if you can. There it is, duck calling. That's where people have fun. Morse, Morse code instruction. To heck with women, you know. You just, you just sit there and do your Morse code. That's how you're gonna communicate in your basement. Yeah. Uh, that I don't know. But I'll tell you what, that looks good. 
I like that, that look. Just as plain Jane as Jane can be. How to Aunt Jane. Uncle Johnny left her. And I guess that was that. I've got a feeling about what the circumstances were, and they're not pretty. Johnny was kind of a tomcat. Hey, I'll play that one. Now, he was more of an omnivore than anything else, from what I understand. And good for him. Ooh, I want that sleeve. I like that sleeve. So, anyway. Enough about my family. How's your family doing? Just everywhere I look, there's more records and more records. And I like that. Okay, time just keeps rolling. I've been looking a long time. I've got a big pile of 78s, big pile of 45s. I'll have to stop in about, oh, I don't know, hour and a half, two hours and start playing records. Then I'll have to go meet my friend and do some bargaining. Y'all wish me luck, but he's, he's a firm but fair seller, and that's good. I'm a kid and I'm gonna buy everything that I can. Do, 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 do. My back hurts. Can you believe that? So I want that sleeve. I like a good country sleeve. I like a good sleeve like that too. I take it off a Mitch Miller record. We got so many that are unsleeved over there. You'll see my pile in a little while. It's a heck of a pile. Okay. Did I mention I found another room here that I didn't know existed that was full of records? Yeah, yeah, I found another. Uh, I didn't mention it. I found another room that was full of records. I'm really finding cool stuff. I'm enjoying it. I think my light is starting to finally fade out. I'm not talking metaphorically or metaphysically. I'm just talking about that light is up on my head. I want that sleeve. Yeah. I want those two sleeves. Yeah. No, I don't want that sleeve. Well, cool drool, folks. It's night time now. Uh, I got my batteries charged back up. I looked through thousands and thousands of 45s and probably close to an equal number of 78s. I ended up with a box of 78s, long box of 45s. I've got an Elvis Sun 20978 and a Elvis Sun 22345. 78s in really nice shape, too. And I've got a handful of uh, handfuls of hillbillies and boppers, some out and out rockabilly. I've got some soul, a couple of garage pieces, uh, 78s. I've got lots of hillbillies, some great blooms, some uh, pre-war hillbilly, and uh, and there's a lot more I need to go back and look through. I thought today was going to be. You know, me fi fixing, uh, well, I mean, finishing up that uh, second room. But there's a third room. Ha -ho! So I've got to go f at a later date, finish all that up. And uh, so that was fun. I paid well. I got well. So I'm happy with that. Y'all be good. I'm going to tomorrow... Uh, do a little video and show you some of the things I got and uh, hope you like them. I'm too dang tired. I'm going to get home at about midnight tonight. My back went to hurting real bad. Tomorrow I start a medically, uh, a medical, uh, what do you call it, where they watch you when you diet. If I don't eat so damn much diet, it's not doing so well. <laughs> Especially, I found the fatal flaw in that diet. 
I was eating too much. So, that's what happened there. So anyway, all that has just turned out to be a great day. I'm pleased. I'm happy with it. Y'all be good. I'll see you in the morning when I show you some stuff. Well, folks, as promised, and I always deliver. Sorry, had a little bit of a, well, I got a dirty lens. Let me clean that thing. Good, that's better. Made it home, got me some rest, feel a lot better. Throwing on my glasses, and let's look at what I got. Here's just a rough run through. Roscoe Gordon cheese and crackers. Good Arkansas. Uh, kind of rock and roll, kind of teen thing. Really neat. Emmett and the Jades. Great Garage, the Shadow Casters. That's, that's a great name. Grady Tate. That's a marvelous soul record. That is great. Wonderful harmonica solos. Man, Garland the Great. Blue stuff. More Great Northern Soul. That wonderful dot sleeve. More soul by Art Benton. The one before that was Turf Tidal. Then, this is a marvelous record. Ella Thomas, or Esha Thomas, if you're down in Argentina. And, uh, Oh, that's just, that's just a great one. Jimmy Ford, Rockabilly, Gonna Be Sorry. Johnny and Joni, Kiro Ryan. Young Jesse, who just passed away recently with the Rona. Great singer from Dallas. Mystery Train by old Elvin Preston. Pretty good female rocker that doesn't turn up. Fern Fisher, Tommy. Billy Craddock as Graddock there. Good rocker. More garage on the Maya label. We've got to remove stickers and such. Hewland Duval. Rockabilly. Roscoe Gordon the Chicken. Al Reed doing some uh, R&B. Drops of Rain. Rockin' Bandit by Ray Smith. That's the Honey Bees on Garrison. The President's. Doing a song called Stinky. Isn't that nice? Linda Jean by the Satellites. Real primitive rocker. J.B. Lloyd. Rocker. Another rocker. Frank Pizzani or Pizzani. Pizzani. More Garage. The Idle Few. Teddy Riddell. That's not so easy to find on Razorback. Another Arkansas rockabilly-ish rocking country. Bill Gentry. Eh, it's just one of those rare... Well, rare not, but one of those red start a uh, country things. Got two copies of this. Great country rocker, trucking thing. Shorty Ashford. This one I thought was in, going to end up being, uh, what would you call it? I'd say a uh, soul record. No, it's nasal country with a real primitive guitar. But it's so inept, I like it. More Memphis Country Weirdo by Little Chico and the Carondolets, Little Green Man. This is neat. Less than his Western Playboys. He did some later stuff that was rockabilly. And this one, Lightning Chance, Bass, Jack Shook, Rhythm. It tells the whole band. And in fact, this was a Nashville, uh, well, yeah, Grady Martin guitar, Bob Foster Steel, Jerry Rivers, who was with Hank Williams. I'll tell you what, that ain't boy, that ain't bad at all, you know. But you know, I'm wondering. It says the oil boys consist of, but there it's the Western Playboys. This sleeve might go to another record. I'll have to play it again and see. Got some Eddie Cochran stuff going on with Jack Lewis, Bobby Barnett, Bradshaw. Dallas Wilson. We've got a lot of good rocking country here. Jay Stump doing, though, Rock It On Down. That's a neat title. It doesn't live up to its name, but I like it. We've got Hank Cochran, and we've got Charlie Walker. More odd, uh, hot guitar, but it's really country-ish. Don Barnett, got a few of his. Go Boy Go, Rock It On Down My House, Harry Schultz, Star Day, Patsy Cline's first record. More... Uh, Bluegrassy uh, stuff from West Memphis. Can you bop? Tom Wilson. There's a neat one, but it's not hot like his other one he did. I found out on this label. But Louisiana Lannis, 
There we go. Pinky Pinkston. One of the worst great records ever made. It's just horrible, and I love it. Production line, Rusty Dunn. Salty Dog Rag by the Country Pals. I'm going to pause a sec. Don Barnett doing some uh, fancy guitar picking. This is weird. I like this, and I don't know what it is. Wayland Jennings. Huh? No, Wayland Jennings? No, it's Wayland Je Jennings. I don't know. Haven't played it yet, but I bought it just for that. Good uh, ASCAP, or no, CSAC uh, promo with Johnny Horton on there. And this is a nice one here. I love that label. This one's rough. It's got a little bit of an edge crack, but it's a hard one. Roy Bayham, kind of a hillbilly thing. George Jones on Star Day. Hey May, Rusty and Doug. Phil Moore, Little Angel. Al Terry, my baby knows. Biblically, she knows. <laughs> Early, uh, yeah, 1956 Star Day. Johnny Nelms. He later became, I do believe, a... Uh, Yes, uh, no, a Texas state senator or representative. Roland Eaton. Must be Roland James and James Van Eaton. This is something. It's a good rocker. And I don't know anybody that's heard of the thing. Leo Castleberry, Teenage Blues. You know, country-ish, but cool. Same for this one. I just like this. It's just one of those century customs that was pressed out in Newhall, California. But this one's from Springfield Mo, Zuri. This is fun. It's Bashful Bobby Wooten, but it's got a marvelous promo letter from the publisher. Illinois Playboys, Hot Hick. Uh, this record belongs to James Knight. Well, I don't care, James. Sorry, had to sneeze right there, so I had to kill the video. Wild Woman Tamer. It's pretty cool. This one's a kind of a country rocker. Move on down the line. It's the Jerry Lee Lewis slash uh, Roy Orbison thing. This thing moves. Then we've got Raw Country, nearly a Star Day sound. Looks like Chicago Press. Eddie Gross. Ew, gross. Another Illinois Playboy. Another BJ and the Boys. What a name. Then we've got Don Barnett and the New Jays. And then Let the Freight Train Carry Me On. Oh, man, Delmore Brothers, but look at that sleeve. Wow. So, well, those are the 45s I've got. Right now, I'm a bit shaky to be handling 78s. So, I'm not going to handle them right now. I just, I don't feel up to it. Y'all be good. I buy old records. I drive all over, cre all over creation. And uh, y'all just have fun now. You hear?